being so cold all the time. And oh, yeah. Well, you've got lots of problems. you got lots of stuff happening. Your thyroid's probably involved. I yeah, talked to you last year, and it helped so much. Okay. We'll, but, we'll do uh, it again. We'll give you another okay. consult again. Send an email. Okay. Put Mary from Michigan in the heading. Then at KSCO.com. Okay. I'm going to let you go, Mary. Thanks for your call. Appreciate it. God bless. Have a beautiful day. Okay. Uh, David in California. What is up, my friend? Hi, Ben. How are you? Doing good. What's going Thank on? Thank you for buddy? everything. I won't... Thank you. Um, I have Thank a friend, uh, 82 years old. Okay. And she is just consulting a surgeon for uh, hip replacement. Yeah, well, that's, they make a lot of money with hip replacements. Now, I'm not I saying she that. doesn't need one. I don't know her case, and she's 82, and if she's got eight decades of bad living, she may need a hip replacement. Well, actually, she's in, other than uh, Premarin, I don't even know what that is. That's all she takes. Well, Premarin will shut down her. You know, it'll affect bones, and uh, that's not a great medicine, pregnant mare urine. It's a, a derivative of, of horse piss, if you will. I think I can say that. A horse urine, and they extract the estrogen out of the horse, and they give it to people. That's clever. Uh, so anyway, pregnant mare urine, that's what Premarin is. So in, in any case, building up tissue is what you want to look at. Number right. one, always correct digestive issues, because if you don't, and at 82, chances are she's not processing her foods and, and, and nutrients correctly. And if you're not, it doesn't matter what you take. So you got to make sure that she's processing her nutrients correctly, and that means patching up the digestive system, uh, using the uh, Biolumin Nightly Essence, she can try the swear of the and the amasai also, which are tasty ways to restore digestive health. Uh, the ultimate enzymes are also going to be helpful for a couple of reasons. Number one, they'll help her process her nutrients. And number two, they have anti-inflammatory properties also if you take them on an empty stomach. So use the ultimate enzymes after meals as well as in the middle of the day on an empty stomach. And then uh, a little apple cider vinegar will be helpful. Glucosamine can be really helpful for all building needs, and that includes skin building and cartilage building and, and bone building and building anything, really. Uh, use the, glucosamine, the glucogel caps, and then take the glucogel caps with the digestive enzymes and after meals, and that will help the absorption. And whenever you use the glucogel caps, you want to make sure you're getting enough vitamin C. Vitamin C and glucosamine work hand in hand. That'll be your Beyond Tangy Tangerine. So the Healthy Start Pack, uh, the Biolumin Nightly Essence, uh, the Swear V products, th those could be helpful too. Correct digestive issues uh, with digestive enzymes and eliminating problem foods, that's also going to be important. And real make sure she's getting enough protein and essential fatty acids. Those are your prime building nutrients along with vitamin A and zinc. I'd be using 20,000 international units of vitamin A every day along with the entire Healthy Start Pack. 50 milligrams of zinc picolinate a day along with the entire Healthy Start Pack. And then making sure she's getting enough protein. Uh, the ultimate EFAs EFA pluses can be helpful. GLA, as we've been talking, can be helpful. And then making sure she's got a good source of protein consistently throughout the day. Eggs, whey, seafood, if she can handle those. Uh, the slender FX, if she can handle that. And sometimes protein's a little tricky because it's a little hard to process. But whatever kind of, kinds of protein foods she can take in and protein supplements she can take in is going to be in her interest to help rebuild. Even if she has her hip surgery, all of these can help her recover from her hip surgery, in addition to uh, uh, a couple other things. I'll tell you, vitamin E, because of its anti-inflammatory properties, uh, 400 international units a day of vitamin E. And then alpha lipoic acid, I love this stuff, super important for inflammation. We'll be talking about that one in the next few days. Uh, lots of good stuff there for you, David. Even if you do, a, even if your friend does a little bit of that, she's going to notice a significant difference. And i got to move on. I want to get to some more Thank calls. you, Ben. I recorded it. I got it all. Good deal. God bless. Have a beautiful day, my friend. Okay, Patrick in Texas. How you doing, buddy? What's going on? Hi. Hi, Ben. Uh, I was going to ask about my girlfriend. Uh, she is taking antidepressants. It seems to be helping, but she's always mentioned that, you know, she wanted to do something. More natural? You know, she could get off them. She, yeah, she, if yeah. she could get off them, she would. And yeah, I know okay. you know uh, nutrition that you can do foods that, that will Absolutely. help with serotonin level. Absolutely. I'll tell you some nutrients that not only will help her wean off her antidepressant meds, but it'll help her antidepressant meds work better and reduce her side effects, even if she decides to stay on her antidepressant meds. By the way, what's she on? What do you know? Uh, I Actually, I have no. I never got a chance okay. to look at the label. Okay, but, no uh, worries. No worries. Here's how you deal with it. Number one, depression is a sign of long-term chronic stress that has been turned inward. That's what depression okay. means. It's when, it's when we, have, we just can't deal with our lives for whatever stress they are, and we turn that stress energy, sometimes anger, inwards. In fact, underneath right. depression, you'll often find anger, and underneath anger, you'll often find fear. 
Let's go fear, right. anger, depression in that order. So really, in terms of nutrition, I'm going to give you some great ideas. But you want to get to what's causing the anger and what's causing the fear. And it's understandable in this crazy world we live in that underneath depression, you're going to find anger and fear. There's a lot to be angry about and there's a lot to be scared about. We're, we're encouraged to be scared. We're encouraged right. to, have, to feel like our survival is threatened. We have structured a society, elites who benefit off our misery like a, like a vampire, like predators right. that they are, have structured a culture where we have, feel like our survival is at stake at every turn. And it's easy to get angry about that, and then it's easy to get depressed about that. So dealing with those kinds of issues is important. And one day, soon, hopefully, I'll be doing a radio program where we just talk about mental and emotional and spiritual strategies, because to me, that's really at the heart of physical ailment, spiritual, mental, emotional, and then physical. So leave that aside for now, uh, although that needs to be addressed. Slow, deep breathing can help with, um, with uh, uh, depression because of its ability to help calm the body down and, and put the body into a more relaxed mode, a more antidepressed mode, if you will. So slow, deep breathing is important. Then from a nutritional standpoint, stand away from foods that, uh, that spike blood sugar is very, very important because when blood sugar spikes, the body's instantaneous response is to yank the, the sugar out of the blood, causing low blood sugar, which can easily cause depression. So uh, making sure she's not spiking her blood sugar or self-medicating with sweet foods, with blood sugar spiking foods. A lot of times people will do that for the energy buzz or jolt that they get. A soda pop is a big culprit. A caffeine can be a problem as well. Anything that spikes blood sugar or hypes the body up can be a problem. Uh, using blood sugar stabilizing nutrients like the sweeties can be helpful. And then also for all depression needs, you want to think B vitamins. I called. I said the B vitamins were your energizing vitamins, and they are, but they're also the brain vitamins. B for brain, brain vitamins. Any brain issues or emotional issues, think B vitamins. In fact, niacin, for example, has been used to treat social anxiety disorder, anxiety issues, niacin deficiencies associated with mental health issues like schizophrenia and autism and even depression. So high doses of the B vitamins, including uh, injections of vitamin B12, might be something that she wants to think about. You'll get your B vitamins in the Beyond Tank Tank and have her sipping on that. Other, other uh, nutrients that are important for brain health, in, uh, in addition to the B vitamins, include the electrolytes, all the electrolytes, potassium, calcium, magnesium, sodium. And as I was talking to uh, Mary, our last caller, sodium-potassium balance is very important. Have her using the Swear V, sipping on that uh, throughout the day, as well as the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, sipping on that throughout the day. And last, but most certainly not least, or two last things, I should say, magnesium has antidepressant uh, properties and also essential fatty acids, majorly, majorly, majorly antidepressant. Uh, uh, the balance is going to be important, and we'll talk about that tomorrow on the bright side. Patrick, that's all the time we have for today. So I gotta, I gotta let you go, and I'm sorry if we left you on hold. That's why I always say call in early on the program. Uh, if I left you on hold, give us a call tomorrow. Tell our call screener we left you on hold, and we'll get you first up. Thanks for listening, friends. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You've been listening to the Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. Have yourselves a wonderful, spectacular, awesome day. We'll talk to y'all later. Bye for now. Thank you.